In other news now, a local broadcaster fired after using an offensive term in, on the air to describe the Democratic vice presidential nominee. Tiffany Tarpley joins us now with a look at what happened here. Hi, Tiff. Hi, Betsy. Well, this one is stirring up a lot of anger on social media. And now we are not only hearing from WTM radio, but also the news anchor who was fired. So let's take you back. It was last night during the station's Indians broadcast. Kyle Cornell used the word color to describe Kamala Harris. Offended, shocked tribe fans expressed their concerns on Twitter. Today, WTAM released this statement saying in part, the term does not align with our station's core values and commitment to the communities we serve. A WTAM listener posted the audio clip on Twitter last night. The station acknowledges Cornell said this on air. I also spoke with him over the phone. The U.S. officially has its first colored vice presidential candidate. More coming up after the game on News Radio WTAM 1100 Cleveland. Okay, now that we have uh, an African-American woman running as a vice presidential candidate is, is truly is awesome to see where we're going as a country. And uh, that was my the gist of my headline. It wasn't meant to be malicious or in any sort of way trying to do, to uh, defamate the character of anyone or any type of people or anything like that. That was never the goal. Um, and for that, again, I am, I'm truly sorry. And now this comes as the Cincinnati Red suspended broadcaster Tom Brenneman, who used the anti-gay slur and anti-gay slur when they were coming back from a commercial break during the first game of a doubleheader. During the second game, he apologized, saying he was deeply ashamed. Now, as for this former WTAM news anchor, he calls what he did an unfortunate mistake and he will work to improve. Betsy, it's also important to note that WKYC has a partnership with WTAM. All right. Thank you, Tiffany.